dealing with LDN and issues surrounding sleep, a lot of times it has to do with the individual's core health conditions. It can also have everything to do with the dose in which they are using. So what I mean is that it is very common, it's very traditional for low dose naltrexone to be prescribed in a very specific dose in a capsule form. So what that means is that if we start at 1.5 milligram capsules, you can only go up in dose, meaning you can go from 1.5 in one capsule to taking two, which would be three milligrams or taking three, which is 4.5. Well, what if your individual dose is actually somewhere in between there? Maybe it's even lower than 1.5 milligram. You can't split a capsule, does not work. We even have difficulty splitting tablets because there is, is such a very small amount of medication in that tablet. So what we often do is we will start people on liquids that they can then slowly increase the volume because some people escalate their doses too quickly. Sometimes they increase their dose every three to five days. Perhaps if they increase their doses every seven to 14 days, they will have less side effects such as vivid dreams um, and vivid dreams are actually a good thing because it's proving that LDN is pushing you down into REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, which is restorative. So we know the medication's working. It's just that some people don't dream. So when they don't dream and all of a sudden they have these in living color movement, um, you know, fast paced kind of activities happening in their dreams, it can be a little scary. If they have a diagnosis such as post-traumatic stress disorder and they are reliving trauma or incidences from their past, they don't want that to be replayed in their head at night. So we have to really take a look at the diagnosis as to what's going on. The other thing too, is that some people use sleep aid medications in conjunction with LDN. And it's actually the sleep aid medications that are interfering with getting really good restorative sleep. Um, sometimes they cause nutrient depletions, which can interrupt sleep, which can um, delay sleep. It can change your melatonin levels. You may not have enough magnesium on board. You may not have enough vitamin D on board earlier in the day. There can be a lot of different situations. If someone's been using a medication like Ambien or Lunesta, which are both um, benzodiazepine family sleep medications, perhaps they're actually lacking vitamin B12 because we know that both of those medications can waste that very important vitamin out of your body. So with that, we, there's a lot to take into account. So the reason why we only have about a 50% lack of side effect has everything to do with what's going on in the individual. That's why working directly with a compounding pharmacist that really understands the mechanism of action with LDN can actually improve that 50-50 success ratio to a much, much higher ratio like 85, 90%. And so we don't see that with traditional medications and it has everything to do with their very careful patient follow-up that we provide. 